Former Democratic candidate Andrew Gillum gained notoriety after running for the governor of Florida in 2018, a widely publicized election that required a recount. Gillum also made headlines back in February after being found inebriated in a Miami hotel after police were responding to a possible drug overdose. In a candid interview with Tamron Hall, Gillum revealed he was bisexual. Gillum's wife, RJ Gillum, was also present in the interview. She says she wasn't sure if she would have had the same maturity to deal with the situation and the strength to continually fight for her marriage if she had known before she married Gillum. Gillum has been married to RJ since 2009 and the couple have three children together. The news comes as a surprise to the audience and after seeing the interview, it's clear this wasn't for RJ as well. Calling to the studio, we have comedian Vanessa Fraction to give her thoughts on this situation. Vanessa, thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing today? Hey, Symphony. Thanks so much for having me on Comedy Hype News. I am fantastic. Yes, so I, I have to ask you, what are your thoughts on, on Andrew Gillum? Were you surprised that he came out as bisexual? No, um, I cannot say that I was surprised that Andrew Gillum came out as bisexual. Um, I also, I don't know if I want to just jump right into it. I think it's so besides the point. Um, <laughs> your bisexuality really has nothing to do with... Um, why I guess I would be disappointed in you uh, if I lived in the state of Florida. You know what I mean? Like if um, you just ended the uh, gubernatorial race and loss and now you're found in a hotel room with, with meth and a prostitute. <laughs> so my, right, exactly. And so you being bisexual and you and your wife having an understanding of your sexuality and what you all allow in your marriage is one thing, but making bad decisions, um, going to Miami, for a wedding and then ending up in a hotel room with a prostitute and an unknown man um, with bags, even if you were, and it kills me because there, it's never any responsibility of their own. It was always a setup. But I would like to know, and I think Tamron Hall posed the question as well, well, what were your intentions in going in the room with those two gentlemen or were the two gentlemen not there originally? You know, uh, was it just one guy? Did they sneak into the window? Why do you not have any form of responsibility for making a very bad decision um, as a public person of the, uh, a public officer? You were, he was, excuse me, the uh, mayor of Tallahassee for some years and then also wanting to uh, be in public office as the governor. And these are the decisions that you're making? RJ can stay with you if she want to. Now, if I'm one of your constituents, I might have to, you know, find another candidate because you're not making, <laughs> you're not making good decisions. Now, I, I do want to bring something to the table. I want to um, actually read a quote from his wife. Um, so she said, I don't know. I think perhaps being as young as we were, I wasn't even 30 yet. I may have said no because I know I, had the I wouldn't have had the maturity to say, while I am privately okay with this, I don't know that I have the strength to continually defend my relationship or my marriage to anyone who doesn't. So that's a, after her responding to, you know, would you have still married him? What are, what are your thoughts on that? He has put her in quite the position, honey. Oh, RJ, I'm praying for you, baby. RJ, RJ, I'm praying for you, baby. Um, R to the J to the A to the I, I am praying for her. Listen, um, I am not, there are a lot, I'll put it this way. There are a lot of women I've spoken. I have friends, uh, associates, things like that. I'm a very, I guess I'm easy to talk to, but I know quite a few <laughs> women that have admitted privately that right. they would be okay with a bisexual man or a man that had uh, previous relationships with men. I actually can count at least five women I know that have told me that they would privately be okay with that. I know right. women, is this even on topic? I don't know if this is, if I should say this on Comedy Hype News, but I do know some women that, I'm sorry to use this term, but peg men. Are right. we familiar? Yes. Yep. <laughs> mm, there are some women that um, fulfill their man's desires in ways that most women would. Right. No, I, I think that, that I think correctly? that's clean. That's that's like a clean way to put it. I think that's that's a clean way to put it. Well, let, let me ask you because I know I so know. So my point, well, quickly. So my point is, is that there are a lot more women than that will say right. that would have said yes to this situation. So she should not judge herself for allowing someone to 
want to be themselves and figure themselves out, but my issue comes, and maybe hers does too, with the fact of your bisexuality has nothing to do with your commitment to monogamy. You know, I mean? If you have said that I want to be monogamous, then it doesn't matter whom you liked before, yep. you only like me now right. is, the, is the thing. You know what I mean? That's what marriages are about, and so if you're going to have a marriage that is not with the societal norms, again, I question why would you then want to take public office? You know what I mean? It's not that I'm p pointing my finger about whatever you do in your boudoir and whoever you're with, you know what I'm saying, um, and what agreements you have with your partner, right. but then why seek public office where then now your private life that is questionable can be brought into question. Right. Now, like she said, I would I would have been fine all this time. We'd have kept this to ourselves. You did, you know, eyes wide shut, honey. We did whatever you wanted to do. But now, it, my grandma knows. Everybody. My cousins and them know about it. I can't explain this to them. My Everybody. brother, you so, know what I mean? Yeah. Ahead, so let, let me ask you how, like, how would you, if if this was tables turns, and because I know you're you're married and you have kids, if your husband and the father of your children was to, you know, speak out on that, how would you feel? Don't put this on me. Or what is we engaged? Don't put I mean, this on me. No, I'm just joking. I'm, joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not married yet. I have a fiance. Shout out to my fiance. Hey, Mr. Put Thomas. the ring in. Uh, okay. Um, Look, y'all, y'all basically. So there. you're saying there. if this were to happen to me, right? How would you respond? I don't know what way to say it, child. This would not have happened to me. We are not. And again, let's say you're talking about the situation of him trying to finding out that he is bisexual because, and it's not even a finding out. He knew right. he was bisexual. He yeah. knew this before he wanted to go into public office. So if no, I'm not. A now you didn't put put me in position to, you know, what I was like. She said she was privately OK with it, but now she has to publicly deal with, you know, fighting for her marriage. So if, you know, you're in the situation where privately, you know, you're OK with it. But now, like you said, the world knows. Well, I'm not OK with anything privately that I'm not OK with publicly. Now, that's just me. Anything you do in the dark can come to the light. My mama taught me that a long time ago, and they should know that down south now. Everybody don't everybody know that? Yes. So anything that you're accepting of privately, you need to be, you know, you should have had the thought of what if someone finds out? Because again, apparently, and which is my issue with um, him being in political office, is you're making very big, bad decisions. You know what I mean? So it's like, we're not talking about, nor do I care about your sexuality. I'm talking about why this is so messy and all off into the public. You know what I mean? So even if she agreed privately to have, uh, to be okay with this, and you had certain partners and so forth, I believe what she didn't agree to was the prostitute and the meth. Did they set, you keep saying it was a setup, but I wanna know what was your, Tamarin, he didn't answer Tamarin, what was your intentions going into the room? Was y'all gonna do a prayer vigil? Was you trying to take them in? Was you saying, we just gonna have drinks, y'all do y'all meth over there, I'm gonna have my drinks right here. You know what I mean? Because he said that he was already dr drunk because of the, the depression, of leaving the, of not being able to win the office. But if this is the way you deal with stress, my brother, my God, you know what I mean? So kudos to him for getting himself help and so forth. But as far as you disrespecting your wife and your marriage by being very public with private things, I don't know what to say to you, sir.